hi you are welcome to another video tutorials in today's video we are going to learn about input devices in the computing environment these devices are very important they help computer users to transfer data into the computer system and today we are going to learn about these input devices what input devices are and also some examples of input devices in this tutorials so stay tuned and watch to the end we are going to learn identify more examples about input devices in the computing environment now what are input devices input devices are hardware or peripheral devices used to send data to a computer for processing display storage and transmission when we say hardware hardware is the physical part of the computer system and input devices are hardware devices because they can be felt and seen as compared to software software can be seen on the computer screen but cannot be felt with a physical hand input devices are hardware and also they are peripheral devices when we say peripheral devices they are external devices which are connected to the computer system to offer some help to the computer system by transferring data into the computer system and when these data are inputted into the computer system it needs to be processed by the central processing unit which is known as the cpu of the computer and after the processing it will be displayed on the computer screen which is the monitor and the outcome of the process data is called information and it needs to be stored in a storage medium or a storage device such as hard disk flash drive compact disk and when these data are stored on these storage devices they can be transferred for future use in other words input devices are electronic devices that help computer users to send data or input data into the computer system they are electronic gadgets because they contain electronic components input devices send data from the device over a cable or wireless transmission to the computer data can be transferred through the input devices into the computer system through a cable connection or wireless connection so these are the description about input devices and what offer they can input into the computer system now let's look at some importance of input devices in the computing environment i have these few importance of input devices the first one is it help users to interact with the computer system examples are keyboard mouse light pen etc keyboard help users to input commands into the computer system by typing letters or symbols on the keyboard and this input device which is the keyboard help users to interact with the computer system when you press a letter like a or b c on the keyboard or any symbol on the keyboard you are going to see such symbol or letter on the computer screen and that assure you that whatever command inputted using the keyboard has been displayed on the monitor screen therefore it helps you to graphically interact with the computer system now the mouse is also used for double clicking icons opening icons on the computer system is used for dragging and dropping icons and it also helps you to interact with the computer system so when you drag an icon to a different location on the computer screen this tells you that whatever command that you have issued is accurately performed therefore that interaction between the user and the computer system is done using the mouse which is an input device the light pen also works like the hand when you use your hand scrolling on the screen of the mobile device you also have a device known as the light pen that is also used to perform such tasks clicking icons moving icons on the screen 
of a computer the second importance is it help computer users to add new information to the computer system such as documents pictures videos audios etc so if you have a flash drive which contains some videos you can transfer such data into your computer system if your flash drive or any external hard disk contains your documents or pictures you can insert those information into your computer system now let's look at some examples of input devices in the computing environment now the first example is the computer keyboard and this is the image of a computer keyboard and as you can see we have some keys on the keyboard which contains symbols letters and this helps you to input command into the computer system now the computer keyboard are used to type letters numbers and also for playing game on the computer system so these are some of the functions of the computer keyboard in the computing environment the next one is the computer mouse which is part of the computer system now as you know the main part of the computer system is the mouse keyboard system units and the monitor the computer mouse is used for moving the mouse cursor executing programs and clicking on objects on the computer screen so well, as you can see i am moving my mouse on this interface you can see that my cursor is moving as well so the mouse is used to control the cursor and also it is used for executing programs so you can use the mouse to open programs you can right click on programs to execute a function and all these can be done using the computer mouse it is also used for clicking objects on the computer screen when you have an icon like the race cycle bin on your desktop when you place your mouse pointer on it you can click to select or you can double click to open such icon so this is done by the computer mouse we have this digital camera which has two purpose or function it can serve as an output device and also the input device we are going to talk about the input aspect of the digital camera it is used to capture photos or pictures in the digital memory into the computer system so when you take your camera or a digital camera and you snap an image or you snap somebody that is going to pick that picture or image into the digital memory of the digital camera therefore you have inputted a picture and scanned into the digital memory so the digital camera serves as input when it comes to capturing of photos and pictures the next one is barcode scanner and when we talk about scanners scanners are used to scan images into the computer system barcode is used to scan barcode symbol and generate an electrical output to a computer through a decoder and cable so the barcode scanner has a decoder and a cable within it therefore when it's used to scan barcode symbols like this symbol that we have on the computer desktop there is a light rays emerging from the barcode scanner and this is phased on this barcode and that is going to scan this black and white vertical lines that you see on the barcode is going to scan this and convert it into an electrical output to the computer so that we can identify any information that has been generated from this barcode we have here so the barcode scanner is used to scan barcode symbol and that is the function of the barcode scanner the next one is gaming part and this is very obvious computer users who used to play game you see this gaming pad that is used to play soccer game mario game and this is used for playing video games of many types including sports first person shooters role playing and others so gaming pad is also an input device it serves as a controller and that is used to control objects on the computer screen the next one is joystick which is similar to the computer mouse it serves as a pointer 
it is used for controlling the movement of the cursor or a pointer in the computer device it is mostly used for gaming application so its main purpose is for gaming application so you can use the joystick to play games on the computer screen and it's used to control the cursor as well in the computer system the next one is light pen and light pen looks like the normal pen we use to write on paper and this is a light sensitive pointing input device commonly used to select or or otherwise modify text or data on a screen a light pen may also be used to describe the pen known as a stylus used with a graphics tablet so normally a tablet device has the light pen and also we have other mobile devices that use the light pen and it's used to select objects on the computer screen it's used to write it's used to type on the computer screen it helps you to select text and data on the screen and as you can see the description is used to describe the stylus used with a graphics tablet so the light pen is also an input device that is used to perform specific function in the computing environment now we have the microphone which is also an input device used to input data and its data inputted into the computer system is known as the sound and it can also be used in places such as churches concert halls or public events to record speech or voices so if you are in a concert hall or church you have a large multitude you want to speak to them through your speaker the microphone will serve as an input device to transfer your sound to the speaker to the audience or the multitude so this device is an input device in the computing environment that is used to input data that is known as the sound into a computer system we also have a scanner scanner is an input device used to scan images or graphics into the computer system let me illustrate this example you may have a form to fill that particular form can contain templates which needs some commands you have to insert you may have to insert your name you may have to insert your date of birth you can get a a field that demands for your picture you have to take a picture and scan that picture into your computer system or transfer in the scan picture into your computer system using this input device known as the scanner so it serves as an input device for scanning images or graphics into the computer system we have the trackball the trackball looks like the mouse it has a ball feature the trackball is a computer cursor control device used in many notebook and laptop computers so most of the laptop computers and notebook computers has this trackball as which serves as a mouse and normally it's it has the rotating feature that helps you to rotate the cursor on the computer screen and as i said it has a ball feature on top of the device and the trackball is usually located in front of the keyboard toward the user and it helps you to rotate or control the cursor on the computer screen this is the input device that we have in our computing environment and and i hope you have a clear view of input device and how they can be helpful in the computing environment